previously. What the fuck are you doing here? How did you get here? And so we go. Hello friends, my name's Nerdy, and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. I know that I've recorded a lot of this lately, but we are really close to the end of the game, so we're going to continue with our game. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Tower Floor 6. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. A story so far. After a long search, Luke and Professor Layton finally gain access to the tower. Inside, they learn the truth behind the village of St. Mysterio and Raymond's abduction. There's autocorrect on that computer. Alright. Let's go. Oh my. I don't think there's any hit coins in there. Oh, I stand corrected. No dog? Okay, let's go. Do you suppose we're near the top yet? Yes, but it seems that we have another puzzle on the way before we get there. <sighs> seven squares. Test is to draw lines between the pins on this board to form seven squares. The seven squares do not have to be uniform in size, but you can only use each pin once. Alrighty then, give it a shot. You can only use each pin once. I suppose that's probably not the best place to start this. Okay. Yeah. We can't draw any other squares but this one. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Draw here. I like to give me different colors. Hmm. Oh, what's a four? All right. So let's do. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Interesting, interesting. She's blue. Hmm. 
Wait, wait, wait a minute. I do. This one first. And then I do. Oh no. Okay. Because this one is attached to that. So I need blue to go here. Now I can do this. I just gotta draw them right. Also, I'm going to use all red because this is annoying. All right. Poop. And then, boop, and no. What the hell? So I can't draw over lines. Uh, well, that changes everything. All right. Well, let's do this instead. Do this and do that and do this and go through lines, but not in lines. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. This would also be a square, right? also a square. Didn't think about sideways squares. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Four. That wouldn't be a square, that'd be a rectangle. Let's go to these. Mm. Can I connect this one? Yes. Can I connect this one? No. No. Okay. What about this one? Hey, that 
looks like a square. Awesome. Okay. Um. Use the pliers. That's a square, right? Use the pliers. Well, then just leave it on. Just leave it on in. Let's use our hints. We have a lot of hint coins left. Most of the squares you make will be tilted 45 degrees either side, and their size will vary as well. Start looking for pins you can actually create squares at a diagonal. I started doing that already. Well, more specifics, all right. Here's the location of the squares. Connect the four pins in the top left corner, corner to form a tiny square. Just so you know, this is the only square on the board that isn't tilted. Okay. The largest square contains a pin that's stirred from the top left column and the bottom pin from the far right column. Column. You need to form also need to form a small diagonal block using two pins lined up diagonally on the bottom left portion of the board. There are two more small squares just like this one on the board. Mm. Oh. Wait. Third from the top in the left column and the bottom pin in the far right column. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, does this make a square? Yes, it does. One, two, three, four, five. I need two more. There's one right here. Six. Oh, and I see the other one too. The one in blue. Hell yeah. How does this sound? Awesome. Professor, I solved it. Ah, I'm a genius. That's right, tracking down all those tilted squares was pretty fun, wasn't it? It was it was it was alright. Now we're free to keep climbing. You know it's very odd how this tower is simply huge, yet there's almost nothing inside of it. Yes, quite. Other than Bruno's room in the basement, this whole place is rather bare. Perhaps that's why Bruno's machines make such a racket. This tower is like a giant megaphone. But why would anyone want to construct such a big, purposeless tower, Professor? It's exhausting to climb this thing. Huh. Did you ever consider that this tower might have been built for the express purpose of exhausting us? This is just another one of those mini-trials I've been set out for Secrets of the Golden Apple. Gosh, that makes perfect sense. Maybe that's also why the tower looks so scary on the outside. Seven squares, no wonder puzzle end up. Do I have more journal entries? Nope. All right. Let's get going then. This board doesn't appear to have any puzzle set for us. So if we climb the spiral staircase, maybe. We'll reach the top floor. I think you might be right, my boy. Come, let's hurry. Hold on, I want to hit coins. Aha, I knew it. Any more? No? Okay. Let's just go. Oh my gosh! Is this a house? Our view is obscured from the ground, but who would have expected a charming cottage like this here? Look, the lights are all, Professor. It would appear that someone is living here. 
The tower is secret. The path to the tower has been found. Oh. oh, we completed the chapter. Save your progress? Yeah, okay. Uh, this one. Yes. I assume I can click on the door to go inside, but like, where did I come out of? Who is calling me? Crazy. Go away. I want my hint coins. No hint coins? Okay. You reach the top of the tower, continue into the house, return to the village to explore more. Continue into the house. I don't think I've missed any puzzles. What kind of person would live in a place like this? Whoa. Unbelievable, just look at this room. Stuff in here has to be worth gazillions. This must be the top floor that Bruno spoke of. So we might be standing in the same room as the golden apple at this very moment? I've been waiting for you two. You're the golden apple? Professor, you knew about this? I had an inkling. Don't you see how genius it is, though? Baron didn't write the will to find a successor to his fortune. His dream was to find a worthy guardian for his daughter, and he was willing to put his whole fortune on the line to do so. Yes. My name is Flora. I've been waiting in here in the tower for so long. Were you locked up here in the whole time? Oh, no. Before Papa... Past, he told me that I should wait here until someone from outside St. Mystery came for me. Papa said that whoever came for me would be someone I could trust with my life. So that's why you kept watching us move about town. What was that? Oh my god, are you serial? Oh my goodness. Well, this isn't good. Follow me. We must evacuate this tower immediately. What now? What are we going to do? Mm, I've got it. Just wait a moment, Flora. Me too. Does he make it? He made a hang glider. What is he, MacGyver? What? Uh oh. 
bad for both of you. No. Is that Simon? Bye. My goodness. Glad to see everyone's okay. Apple birthmark. Thank goodness you're all alright, Professor. Don Paolo's flying contraption was something else. I really thought we were done for back there. Yes, it was quite dodgy, but he also provided us with the answer to one of our ongoing mysteries. Do you remember that awful noise we heard the first time we visited Reinhold Manor? The one that spooked Claudia. Oh, that must have been the noise. You've put it together. The racket was likely Don Paolo's contraption making a crash landing. That's the case, and we know the approximate time of Don Paolo's entrance into St. Mysterie. It makes perfect sense. It figures that Franco wouldn't have noticed Don Paolo's entrance. So if, Flora is, so if Flora is the golden apple that everyone's looking for, that means that the treasure that Lady Dally and the others were chasing never existed in the first place. Now, I'm fairly certain they weren't mistaken. I do believe a fortune is hidden somewhere within this town. But the Baron would need to hide it somewhere that only the golden apple would know to look. You mean that Flora knows where the treasure is hidden? I'm sorry, but I don't know about a treasure or anything like that. Let's head back to Reinhold Manor one more time. I suspect we'll clear everything up there. Woo! Solve the noise. Professor, do you really think that the treasure could be located here? Look closely at this painting, Luke. I'm sure it holds the key to the Reinhold fortune. But I've already looked at it. If we solve this mystery, Luke, I'm certain we'll come face to face with the Reinhold treasure. Touch the painting where the golden apple is hidden. I thought it was here. Yeah. I remember now, it's right here. Aha! A hidden switch. The switch seems to have activated the wall. Oh. And to think that the Reinhold Manor had the secret behind this painting all along. Looks like there's a passage that leads further in. Oh. Let's see where this passage goes. Oh my. Oh my goodness, look at this place. I had no idea. Now... How in the world did you know that the switch was hidden in the painting? Listen closely, Luke. Wisdom is that the only thing that Baron Reinhold required of potential guardians for his only daughter. You saw it too, did you not? The peculiar mark on her neck that only appeared once she laughed? In other words, Baron Reinhold set out the last requirement for the potential inheritor to his fortune. He wanted someone who could make Flora smile again after losing those dear to her. To that per person and the person only would Baron Reinhold reveal the location of his actual fortune. That's unbelievable, Professor, but it all makes sense now. Flora. My little Flora. Where's that voice coming from? Flora, you've made it here at last. That voice. Papa, is that you? Papa. My dear Flora, has the village watched over you as I would have? I built St. Mysterie for you so that you would never have to know true loneliness. Well, to be fair, Bruno did the actual building, but that's the beside the point. In any case, if you come this far, I suppose it's safe to assume my plan was a success. My greatest regret is that I'm not there to see you become a young woman. But please know that I want nothing more than for you to be happy. Whether you, the person by your side right now can give you that or not, I suppose, is up to you. And to you who have found your way to my daughter's side, you have my heartiest congratulations. Thank you, Rekka. 
Sure. Through the barrage of puzzles I set before you, much of the person of your abilities has already called on, but allow me to reveal St. Mysterious secret. The secret of St. Mysterious? Recently, I was told by my physician that I don't have time much, much time left on this earth. I can come to terms with dying, but the thought of leaving my only child in the world, alone in the world torments me. This is why I've commissioned Bruna to construct St. Mysterious. At least, that way, she'll be safe and protected until she's old enough to venture into the outside world. <laughs> Streets and buildings are the bones of the village, but the heart is the people who live in it. That's why I asked Bruna to create all the villagers here, as well as the puzzles hidden within them. I've asked Matthew to m make news of my death public only once Flora has grown past childhood. So, stranger, how does my beautiful little flower look now? I imagine she's blossoming into adulthood. Equally important to me is finding someone to whom I can entrust both my daughter and my fortune. This is why the inhabitants of St. Mysterio are constantly testing the knowledge of the vis visitor. If you've made it this far, it must mean that you possess both wisdom and dedication to my daughter. I'm confident that you will take good care of my fortune and Flora. This is why everything in this room, the whole of my fortune, belongs to you now. When you remove it from here, St. Mysterio will complete the objective for which it was created. I imagine the inhabitants will fall into a deep sleep which they will never to awaken. Now wait just a minute, is he saying that if we take the treasure, all of St. Mysterio will disappear? I honestly don't know the answer to that question, Luke. But it's possible that St. Mysterio is designed to shut down the instant we lay a hand on the treasure. So if that happens, everyone will just stop? Just like the puppets with their strings cut? I leave it to you, brave traveler. Draw the curtain on St. Mysterio and lay this lifeless village to rest. Above all else, take care of my precious daughter. She's in your hands now. Oh, Papa. I can't believe it. Even if we touch the treasure, all of St. Mysterio will just grind to a halt. Flora, by right, this inheritance belongs to you. You should be the one to decide what's done with it. I... I don't want it. But why never not, my dear? The people who live here have been with me for so long. Curious as this village is, it's watched me grow up. I want St. Mysterio, my village, to stay just as it is, forever. I see. And so it shall be. But what of you, Flora? Will you stay here with your village? I... I... All the mysteries solved. Are you sure this is quite all right, madam? Certainly. If living will make Flora happy, I'd like nothing more than to see her off with a smile. Wait, where's the tower? What an astonishing village that was, Professor Layton. Does this mean you'll be breaking the front page of the London Times again sometime soon? Look, St. Mystere's secret must stay between us. Huh? Why do you say that? You see, my dear boy, we don't want people to make a spectacle of Flora. That wouldn't be right. Of course. Always thinking of us. <laughs> well, one must always put a lady So, that has been Professor Layton and the Curious Village. We solved a single more puzzle, and then we got to listen to the mystery. Um, try to debate. I think I am going to do another episode of the bonus puzzles that will be unlocked after this. 
but that will be the last episode of this. So this won't be the last, but the one with the bonus uh, puzzles will be. So, yeah. Um, I guess we'll just sit and enjoy the soundtrack. It's so pretty. The end. Yay. To be continued. Then you've reached the stories and Professor Layton in the Curious Village is far from over. How many puzzles did you solve over the, over the course of your adventure? That's like 120 puzzles are hidden throughout the town, so why not try to complete every puzzle? Also be sure to check the bonus section, fulfill certain conditions to unlock more bonus content. The game will save now. When you continue, we'll resume play at the top of that tower. Uh, 
Wait, does that mean I've missed some puzzles? I think that means I've missed some puzzles. Let's look. Okay, so I can only get this one after I've solved other puzzles, but I can do this one. So when we come back, we will solve the other puzzles that are hidden in the village that I seem to have missed. Um, yeah, I don't know where they are at, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, okay, so yep, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Um, let's go back to the title page. Internet setting out. Bye.